welcome back to cheater stories today is november 19th of 2019 so this is part two of the 25 Ghanaian women share their stories of infidelity on facebook this is part two today we're going to start with story 15 we're on story 15 of 25 now all right so here we go i am two months old in my marriage and i'm already in an emotional affair with someone else my husband is a good guy and all, but Dave, I'm not that much into him anymore. We had known each other for a few years, so I'm a little bit surprised as to why I feel we're not even that connected intimately. We have very good sex and we do communicate so well. He loves me so dearly, but dot, 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 I feel he's the only one enjoying this marriage. I have practically fallen out of love with him. After only two months, the day I will physically cheat on him, I would be getting out of this marriage. And it's going to be in April 2018. My true love is coming to Ghana to take me away. I have already secured a visa to return with him. I have no plans of divorcing my husband. Neither do I plan to tell him about my true feelings. He would return from work one day in April and find all my belongings at home, all right. But I would be gone. Dang. Wow, that's cold-blooded. Um, she'd known him for a few years before they got married. And at that time, she she felt like she was in love with him. She was digging him enough to marry him. And then only two months in, she falls out of love with him. It just doesn't seem right. How can you, f I don't know, everyone is different. Everyone is built differently. But if I was really in love with someone, it would take, a paradigm shift like something tragically would need to happen for me to fall out of love with that person something tremendous and I'm pretty sure it would take longer than two months but this lady I just don't see how you can only be married two months you've already fallen out of love with them you're already having an affair and you've already made an escape plan within two months it just is just not adding up and then okay so she said they have good sex they communicate very well but the part that tripped me up is she said i feel like he's the only one enjoying this she's just gonna ghost him he's not gonna get any answers she's moving to another country it's just really sad i feel really sad for that guy he sounds like he was a pretty good guy she had no complaints about him you know so it's not like he had like bad breath or uh, a micro sized penis he just wasn't her true love but you know what honestly you know the sooner she goes the better off he'll be i agree she probably shouldn't tell him because he seems like a, a a decent guy and any decent guy that's in love and enjoying his marriage enjoying his 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 new wife he's gonna fight for her you know he's gonna fight for her and um, I feel like if he don't know, he just comes home one day from work and she's gone, I think that'll do him better, you know, and he, he can just, you know, clean his slate and just move on. Um, all right, so moving on to number 16. Everything was almost perfect at home. We had so much love, trust, respect, and peace of mind at home. Well, that sounds wonderful, don't it? We had dreams and hopes for our children. I was faithful for the 13 years I'd known him. Until late 2017, he was involved in an accident in November 2016 and has been in a wheelchair since. Oh no. Doctors have assured us that he will walk again. However, I do not care anymore. I nursed my husband's wounds, took very good care of him for the whole of 2017 and took upon the responsibility of being the head of the family. Everything I did for him because I loved him wholehearted because he was the father of my kids. I was looking through the damaged items found on the scene of the accident, which had been packed in a bag since 2016. I came across his crushed phone. So I took the SIM out, bought a brand new phone to surprise him with it. And guess my surprise when I inserted his SIM. After reading and listening to 12 texts and voice messages sent in by two different phone numbers, both women, 
I did not need a scientist to explain to me exactly what had been going on in his life outside home. I did not even have to think twice. I willingly gave into a secret admirer's demands in a heartbeat. I have found a professional caretaker to be attending to my husband while my focus now is on my kids and my new man. I have no regrets whatsoever, Dave. Wow. Whew. So this guy, oh my God, oh my God. When she started talking about going through the items that were packed in the bag, like my 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 senses, like the flags went up like right away. That's when I knew, okay, she's gonna find some shit. He was he was into some shit. And lo and behold, my goodness, you know uh, it's so sad. So I mean, it's very understandable. Very understandable for her to give in to um, a boyfriend like wow oh my god wait a minute wait a minute Woo, I gotta wait a minute I gotta think about this one can we give her a pass does she get a pass to cheat Does she get a pass? I don't know, guys. I don't know. <sighs> so when I was reading the story, I was like, what a shithead, you know? Like, all the stuff that she did for him, she was there for him. They were like, well, she thought they were like desperately in love with each other. And to go and find that out, that is devastating. Only thing I wanna know is if she told him what she found out. Did she show him what she found? You know what I mean? Does does he know that she knows? And And if she did, does he know about the boyfriend? I'm pretty sure like, He's got to know something's up with the, the new caregiver and, oh man, oh my God. I, I, I don't know what her reasons are for wanting a boyfriend so bad. I, I don't know if it was for revenge or if she really felt like she needed to be in another relationship. <sighs> mm, mm, mm. All right, we moving on to number 17. All right, so it says, David, I know you are protecting our identities. That's why I'm feeling a little bit comfortable opening up to only you. I am pleading with you. If you still are not so sure of how safe the security of your Facebook account is, kindly copy my message into a Word document or folder and delete my message to protect me should anyone try hacking your system. Thank you. I am in my second marriage and yes, I'm cheating on my husband. I wasn't always like this. I used to be faithful. I used to be content with only one man. I used to love and trust from deep within. However, my first husband turned me into something I never knew I could be, a murderer. I killed him, Dave. I poisoned my first husband and watched him die in our bedroom, painfully. I mixed a deadly, colorless, tasteless, odorless substance with my lotion, smeared it gently on my breast, rubbed it... What? smeared it gently on my breast, rubbed it on my vagina, put some on my lips. I coated every part of my body I knew he enjoyed putting his mouth and tongue on and watched him swallow every bit of his own saliva mixed with the substance. I wish you could see my face right now. Okay, let's continue. Dave, sometimes a cheating, filthy, lying bastard ought to die for you to live. I deserve to live, Dave. I deserve to live. 
I'm glad our incompetent Ghanaian medical doctors could still not diagnose the true cause of his death after the autopsy. Everybody, including his family, all think he died from an acute liver problem. I am cheating on my current husband because I don't want to lose another man in a marriage. So I would rather want to cheat on him too as a form of closure in order not to lose my mind. He started cheating on me when I was seven months pregnant, shaking my head. These foolish men, A, we give them everything, yet they choose to fool around. I feel very sorry for my current husband. I'm still timing him closely. His time will come. Wow. Whoo. Oh my gosh. She murdered her first husband. She poisoned him. And I know the story sounds ridiculous, but stuff like this happens more than we know. And like she said, she didn't get caught. So I'm pretty sure this stuff happens all the time. Because I thought about poisoning my first husband with Visine. <laughs> Um, anyway, yeah, I, I I wanted to kill him and for no good reason. My reason wasn't even as good as hers. Um, he just got on my nerves. So anyway, um, so her second husband, he's cheating on her. So she figures, you know what? I got a baby with this guy. He's the father of my child. Um, and I really don't want to kill this guy. So rather instead of killing him, she decides to cheat on him just so she can live with it. The cheating kind of appeases her. You know, it, it, it gives her a little satisfaction. It keeps her from losing her mind and it keeps her from killing him as well. She may not get away with it a second time around. You know, you if you lose, you know, if your second husband dies as well, you know, they might start looking at you more closely. The crazy part at the very end she says she feels sorry for her current husband and she's watching him, his time will come. She's only gonna put up with this cheating for so long. And the cheating that she's doing, that's only going to work for so long. At some point, she's going to, she's going to kill him. I don't know, that shit is crazy. That story really shook me up. I, w I was not expecting that. All right, so moving on to story number 18. I was dating two men when I found out that I was pregnant. I had to choose between the two guys. Which amongst them fit into my idea of a perfect father slash husband? I chose my husband over the other. My husband is the good guy type. Very homey, decent, responsible, and committed. The other gentleman is more of the fun type, full of energy and jokes. I don't want to lose any of them because they both mean different things to me. So yeah, I'm also cheating on my husband. In fact, did I even stop cheating on both men? This life, so fucked up. She never stopped fucking with either one of them. See, the problem here is she wanted her cake and to eat it too. You can't eat the cake. You get the cake, you put it back in the box, and you, you, you stick it in your refrigerator, and you just see how long it'll last. You know, you can't eat it too. <laughs> I never understood that terminology. You can't have your cake and eat it too. It really doesn't make much sense, but anyway. And then another fucked up part about her story is that she's not sure who the father is. The father of her kid could actually be the, the side piece, the side dick. He might be the father of the kid and the husband He's not even the father. You know what I mean? All right, so moving on to story number 19. I am a lesbian. My partner and I have been together since our university days. She is my rock, and we both love each other very much. I married a man because in my family, no woman had to be single and childless. So I guess I married just to fit in society. My lady understands, so we are cool. All right, so that one was pretty short and sweet. She's basically cheating on her husband with another woman okay so this is story number 20 and this one is really short for me it's a tit for tat you do me i do you very simple and i'm doing him with so much pleasure and joy who cares what he thinks and that's it um dang i i 
Okay, when she said it's tit for tat, that sounded to me like he probably fucked around on her. So now she's fucking around on him. That's all I got out of it. Maybe she's just getting revenge on her husband and she doesn't care. All right, so this is story number 21. If he hadn't abused and disrespected me, I probably wouldn't have fallen into a different hand. My husband took me for granted. He walked all over me, reduced me to nothing, and then expecting me to remain faithful and endure? Stupid man. So her husband is treating her like shit and she's had enough. And number 21 is like, it's one of those stories where you give that cheater a pass because they have a good reason to, you know, especially when there's an abuse involved or, or any kind of cheating or infidelity involved, you feel like, damn, you know, why can't they get their revenge? Those are always tricky. It's really sad to hear someone being treated that way, especially when they remain loyal and faithful. But once you step out of being loyal and faithful to that person, then you're no longer blameless now you've put a stain on yourself although it's it's you know it's not fair the way they treated you but now now you've put this stain on yourself you know moving on to story number 22 why i cheated on my husband i still don't know it was purely an unfortunate mistake i was tempted and i fell for it i didn't plan to cheat there was no reason for me to cheat I'm happily married to a great guy and father to my baby. All he's ever done is love me. He's never wronged me, I just made a mistake. I have no feelings whatsoever for the other guy. It was just sex. Though it was just sex, it was good sex. I loved it. It was different, intense, and wild. I guess I still remember it because if I were to compare and contrast with that of my husband's, I'd grade the guy 180 out of 100 my husband is 65 out of 100. I don't intend telling my husband about the mistake. It's going to be a secret I would have to die with. I'm not ending friendship with that other guy either. Nobody knows about tomorrow, so I'm keeping him in an arm's reach. Being a mother helped me make my family a priority. Thus, my decision to want to do the right thing. So help me God. She had an incredible, intense, unforgettable experience with another man and she can't get it out of her head and this guy is way way better than her husband sexually in bed it, it also sounds like she's reminiscing about it and she thinks about it probably more often than she should but it sounds like she's struggling with doing the right thing it sounds like she has urges like she she wants to put her family first but she keeps thinking about this guy and how good the sex was. Oh, she really wants to be a good mom, a good wife, but there's this guy over here and she's keeping him only an arm's length away. And look look at how long your arm is. Your arm is not very long. She's keeping him very close, which is not good, not good at all. That's just gonna increase her chances of going back to him. All right, so moving on to story number 23. My husband was transferred to a different region to work. He visits home on weekends and on holidays. That's the genesis of my affair, the beginning. Distance caused it. I know he's probably also warming his bed as I speak. I wouldn't be bothered if he's cheating. All I pray he does is to practice safe sex because that's what I'm doing in his absence. I'm currently in love with both men. There you have it. She's cheating on her husband and She's pretty sure that her husband's cheating on her too. <sighs> okay, moving on to story number 24. Me, I'm a player. I know what's up and he married a bad girl. You can't tame a bad girl with a wedding ring or pregnancy. And I know a part of him knows that too. I love the chase. I love the game. I love the sex. Variety is bae. Monogamy is nay. Hubby is a cool guy and all, but cool ain't shit. I'm a hot commodity. So I don't limit myself to thinking only about my husband and my kid. My customers also need my creativity to help solve their marital problems. I know you get the drift. I think of every call, quote unquote, as a problem solving opportunity. 
I'm selling more than just a body in a hot dress. I'm selling ideas, perspectives, and insight into the mind of a man. I do the needs-based kind of sex. I determine my customer's needs before I start to propose skills. Solutions. I'm the kind of woman who brightens up a man when I see one. You can't see me and just watch me go unless I don't like you. I've built trust with all my men, my husband inclusive. Trust takes a long time to build, but only a second to lose. That's why I strive to demonstrate to even my husband that I can be trusted, even when he's in doubt of my fidelity to only him. If I get caught being dishonest in any way, I'll not only lose my man, customers included, but the ripple effect of my actions will spread far beyond the borders of my relationships, and I don't want that. So I'm always with the assumption that my customers and husband are all smart and give them due respect. And that's how I am with every other man that I'm seeing. <laughs> okay, so basically this lady is a prostitute. This lady is married with a kid and she's a prostitute and her husband has no idea. And she's cheating on her husband with a bunch of tricks and it sounds like all that mumbo jumbo is how she rationalizes what she's doing. And another thing, her clients, her customers are married men. And that takes me back to a couple of podcasts I did before where I was talking about how a lot of married men um, see prostitutes. It's mostly married men that see prostitutes because it's quick, it's in and out, and there's no strings and it's harder to trace. Um, a man who sees a bunch of prostitutes is much harder to catch on to that rather than if he's having an affair with just this, just, you know, a regular. All right. So this is story number 25. This is the last story. My weight became a problem for him. Although he wouldn't openly say it, I could see it from the way he sometimes looked at me with disgust. He ignored me many times and just wouldn't touch me intimately. He was always not in the mood. So one day I finished a professional job for one of my clients and was pleased with the work. We became friends and then there was the pursuit. I am 12 years older than this boy, some tiny boy, but he was serious about me. He liked me. I fell ill one time and the dude volunteered to pick my kids up from school. My husband was away then. He cooked for me and the kids, helped them with their homework, and kept me company until the following morning. He slept in the living room. <sighs> My heart opened up to him after that day. He's the only man I've ever known to fuck so hard. I don't know what he sees in me to want to be with me, but he makes me happy. His love has made me forget all the pain my husband's rejection subjected me to. Now I only think of my husband when I see him physically at home. Every woman deserves to be seen. This boy sees me and he's been by my side for four years now. He calls me over 50 times in a day. He's interested in my day, welfare, kids, work, even how my husband is doing, even though he doesn't like him so much. He's concerned about me. My kids once mentioned him to their father. They showed a picture they took with him to my husband and all he said was, what would a young fine guy like this see in you? I remember looking at him and shaking my head because in his head, no one could ever find a fat woman attractive. To my husband, I had expired. You know, my husband would sometimes worry about me sitting in his car because my big butt would flatten his front seat, a car we both bought with our money. The car I use, which my husband often loves to drive now, was given to me by my boyfriend. My husband still thinks my cousin abroad shipped it to me. The only time my husband would touch me sexually and pretend to be nice to me as when he needs my car keys. I intentionally left a recorder in my car the other day he borrowed it, and he and his mistress were making fun of me in my car, and he was supposed to be on a business trip. My boyfriend wants me to divorce my husband and marry him. He's assured me of taking care of my kid's education, if I can be bold enough to file for a divorce. But for the sake of my kids and their father and their idea of family, I'm finding it very difficult to walk out on this marriage. Please tell me I'm not making a terrible mistake at age 45. That story was very sad, how cruel he was to her because she had put on weight. 
um that was very cruel the way he treated her and then to be making fun of her with his mistress in her car yeah people can be pretty heartless so uh he was cheating on her and she's cheating on him so i guess they're both even it's very sad to see that in a family you know all right so that's the end of this cheater story i hope you enjoyed that and i hope you come back to listen to more episodes and don't forget to check out cheater stories on youtube and um yeah see you soon bye